Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and uh, we're here with a new review. So today, uh, we're starting uh, a new kind of style of a... Uh, not style, but like a new uh, category of art book, right? Um, and this category is going to be uh, individual artists, right? Because there's a lot of artists who, you know, create their own uh, personal art book, right? Um, and this is uh, one very good, clear example of a great individual artist art book, right? <clears throat> this is a book by uh, Simon Stallenhog, right? Who is a fantastic digital artist, right? Who uh, does like uh, these really nice, um, you know, uh, mix between like like landscape plus like uh, sci-fi shit, right? <clears throat> If you haven't seen his work, I highly recommend it. He, his stuff is fantastic, right? Really, really good stuff. And it's all painted, right? Um, so, yeah. Really great stuff. Really great artists. You should check him out. And uh, this is his uh, uh, book. His first book, right? I think uh, right now he's had uh, three books, right? And each one uh, he's had kickstarted, right? Let me get that out of there. Each one he's had uh, kickstarted and has been extremely successful um, and is a really good example of a really, really good, uh, successful independent artist right now. <clears throat> so uh, definitely check out his work, right? So as for the book, right? Let's take a look on the side right here. Do I recommend it? Yes, obviously, right? It's a fantastic book. Um, it's kind of like a narrative, an il, a narrative illustration book, right? Where you have um, a bunch of uh, images, and then next to it, you have some text, right? To kind of kind of build a narrative for the world, right? <clears throat> um, let's see. Here we go. I believe he's a. Uh, I think he's Swedish, right? I think he's a Swedish artist, right? But um. Yeah, and I think so. Most of these landscapes probably have to do with uh, our our photos taken from, um, you know, the uh, Swedish uh, we call it landscapes, right? <clears throat> so yeah, uh, this book it's uh, I think it's pretty cheap now, probably around thirty to forty, right? Um, I totally recommend it, right? Fantastic book. The art is inside that is great, right? And the 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 narrative is like. It's a nice flavoring, you know what I mean, right? It does. It's not too much. It's not too little, right? It just hits that nice little spot right there, where it tells a nice little story, right? Uh, but we're not gonna get into the story. We're just gonna look at the images, obviously, right? <clears throat> and uh, now with the uh, review portion out of the way, right? Let's uh, let's do uh, let's go into the JoJo section, right? Because uh. Right now we have a, a nice opportunity because uh, Jojo is, he's resting, right, next to my bad motherfucker wallet, right, he's sleeping, right, so uh, hopefully, maybe not too much noise this video, right, oh, just a Jojo, oh, look at him, oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, ho, ho. that's a wallet, dude, here's my hand, he's tiny, back to it. <coughs> Right, so let me move this so it's like so it has a nice angle right here. So, um, let's get into the book. Let me switch to the good lens. All right, there you go. Now you can see a bunch of little little cat scratches. Come on, I swear, dude. I wish there was a way to focus better. There we go. Yeah, you can see like he's a he's a, he's a little bitey, you know, if he's a kitten, right? With that little little nicks here and there, right? <clears throat> Don't worry, guys. I'm not getting I'm not getting into street fights, obviously, right? So, whoop! Here we go. So we have a, a map of a. Is this Norway? No, this. Yeah, I think this is Sweden. I think, I'm pretty sure this is Sweden. Yeah. So this is kind of like a in-world map, right? Obviously, it's not, it's not in, in, in the world, it's not Sweden, right? But it's like, it's uh, similar, 
right? <clears throat> there we go. Got a nice, nice little symbol. Tails from the loop, right? Here we go. A little, a little passage describing what the uh, the loop is, right? I'll let you guys read that. You're on your own, right? Because <clears throat> we're just here for the images, right? So <clears throat> here we go. We have this beautiful, nice long image, right? Oh yeah. See, you can kind of already see the, the vibe, right? Very, uh, you know, kind of like Stranger Thing-esque, but like with the robots, right? You know, nice 80s kid, right? Oh, yeah. Some kind of like derelict ship, right? Yeah. His art really um, kind of has like a, a very uh, childish wonderment vibe to it you know right just like oh wh what is that thing you know let's go check it out you know and i think i think he he talks about that in his uh in his uh books right the source of his uh his love for for the artwork right <clears throat> let's do the wide because it's easier for this shot yeah I think these are like factories, right? That are like in the background, right? And notice how, like you know, the kids they, they don't act like it's weird or anything. It's just like yeah, it's it's just like a part of a factory that's part of their hometown, right? <clears throat> Here we have a. Uh, I think this is a. I think it's a cranberry. Right, with the chocolate thing, right? Just to emphasize the the Swedish vibes, right? I bet he's not even Swedish, dude. I bet I'm completely getting it wrong, and I'm just fucking it up. But I don't give a shit, dude. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. This is Swedish, definitely. I'm like, that looks like IKEA text. It has to be. Here we go. Uh, a nice another shot, right? Oh yeah. Um, I think these are. Like windmills or something, right? Some kind of power source, right? And we have like um, the juxtaposition of uh, normal stuff, right? With sci-fi, right? In the back, right? Always a good combo. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, with the, with the children, it kind of creates like a, a sense of wonderment, right? Where it's like, oh, dude, we just got out of the car. And like now the kids are like, let's, oh, dude, let's run and see what these crazy things are, right? Really nice. Nice mood. I might be sticking with the wide for this uh, book because, uh, yeah, it's pretty big, right? And when with these big books, it's uh, it's hard to get the entire shot, right? If it's like a, a smaller image, then I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. The echosphere. Okay. Yeah, so, like, there, see, um, there's something to this, like, you know, like a derelict, you know, thing, right, where you're like, oh, wow, I want to, I want to explore it, you know, like, I want to, I want to see what's inside, right, and then you have, like, the, you know, the kid, you know, maybe he's, like, his grandpa, right, and then they're, like, they're going to go visit, right, just to, just to check it out, right, and then he's probably going to, like, you know, go inside and, like, scream, like, ah, you know, then that's, that's the reason why it's an echo chamber, right, or an echo sphere, all right. Here we go. This is this is a very nice one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of this. All right. Look at that. Up here we have sci-fi. Right. Something crazy mixed with something familiar. Right. Yep. Believable. Wow. Look at this. I love, dude, I love the atmosphere in this painting. Look at that. And see, like, this is one of those examples where, you know, 
um, it really shows that like whether you're doing physical or sorry traditional or digital media, right? Um, it's how you paint it, you know. At the end of the day, right? It's how you paint it, right? And Simon Stallhog uh, has really done well with the uh, digital medium, right? <clears throat> Because he paints everything, right? Just kind of like a normal, traditional painting, right? It's just done digitally. And uh, I really appreciate that, right? Because then you're... You're not just slapping textures on, right? You're painting them, you're you're making them look nice. Like, let's take a look. Let's take a closer look for this one. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <clears throat> this one needs a zoom out lens. Uh. Um, and he does something that I, I enjoy in art books, right? Be, um, the, the, the seam isn't so bad, so it's, it doesn't really bother me. But I love full page spreads, right? Where it just takes the entire goddamn page, right? Because it really immerses you in that. Let me uh, let me get these edges out. Yeah. Besides the, the the seam, you know, it's very immersive, right? You can hear, you can almost hear the 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 ducks, you know, in the back. All right, we got a nice little. I think this is like some kind of gardening bot ship thing. Yeah, look at that. Look at the way he, he treats these trees and how they kind of fade back into the background, right? Here we go. We have a <clears throat> another one of those uh, something, right? With like the, I think this is a car or some kind of ship, right? Here we go. So in this world, they use a uh, magnetic uh, flight systems, right? So it, it repels them, right? Yeah, this is nice. Look at that. Sorry, let me. Uh, let me there you go. Yeah, so besides that seam, looking pretty good. Right? Look at that. I like how, like, you, like it's a thing that's like, oh, we, we, we should, like, walk up to it. You know, there's always, like, a path that leads to uh, the crazy object. Right? Here, I love, I love these colors. This image is rock, is fucking rock solid, man. Yeah. Like, I love the, like, kind of bluish cyan, right, against the yellow, right? Just, Wow. Yeah, it's it's not this bright. So let me uh, yeah, there you go. Actually, leaning is better. Look at that. Really great stuff. Yeah, this might need a good lens. <clears throat> Look at that. Come on, come on. And you see, like the the big ships in the background, right? They 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 don't care. This is a like, you know, like kind of like a more personal moment, right? Mixed with like just this crazy shit in the background, right? It creates like a level of normalcy, right? A mix, you know, a foreign thing in the back, right? Here we go. We have some more. We have ink drawings, right? Showing kind of like the, the the designs, right? For his little machines, really cool stuff, right? You can see that on a drawing level, he he's also uh, good, right? Look at that.
And this is like, you know, this is all like, you know, very familiar, right? The only thing that really kind of gives like a sci-fi vibe is like this little piece of machinery right here. Everything else, pretty normal. Pretty standard stuff. Let me, uh, there you go. So, yeah. <clears throat> More of the great stuff. Oh, this is cool. I guess this is a, like, a refueling thing or, like, a, a way to, to, um, get power, right? Yeah. I'm assuming this is an electric car and this is, like, a, and then, like, time to power it up. I don't know what he's doing with the remote. Maybe it's like a repair bot, like made to repair those specific things. I don't know. It's cool. It's cool trying to figure it out too, right? Like, what is this bot for? Why is it in? Why is it in this like field? You know, does it does it cut the lawn? Is it there as just like exploratory, right? These are clearly workers, right? But what are they doing? You know. Um. And there's like a, I don't know, this, I feel like the distance is like, like, as if you're like a kid going like, whoa, wh what is that over there? You know, like, what are those guys talking about? You know, really cool, right? Just far enough for where the, the oh yeah, by the way, um, there's also dinosaurs in this world, right? So he's got, so he got dinosaurs, sci-fi and, and like real world shit, right? Look at that. This is so cool, man. Can I just like turn down this brightness a bit? Let's uh hold on. Whatever. Yeah. Look at that. Come on. Focus, you son of a bitch. Look at that. So now, <clears throat> now that, like, I love how he um, introduces the dinosaur a little bit later, right? So, yeah. So we have, like, the child, you know, the like, the childlike, you know, like, oh, wonderment, right? And then, like, you have the sci-fi aesthetic, right? And then you have these dinosaurs, right? Which are familiar and childlike, right? But also foreign, right? Because, you know, they don't belong in this world, right? But we know what they are. Right, so all of this together just creates this this theme of a uh, kind of like you know imagination, right? Where like maybe these things don't actually exist, right? Maybe it's just like this is like a you know you're a kid and you're out in like these snow the snowy field, right? And maybe there's like this red like old piece of machinery, right? But with you and your childlike mind, you add these dinosaurs, right? And you add these sci-fi elements, right? It's like, whoa, what if this is not just a, like a, a red thing? What if it's like, you know, a, like a spaceship that has like these floaty bits, right? And then we're just checking it out, right? Like, notice how these kids don't feel danger from these dinosaurs, right? It's that, um, you know, childlike curiosity, right? That's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, let's figure this out, right? <laughs> what is this? What is the story? What's the narrative, right? Humans naturally, you know, look for, for a story, right? We, we, are, we are designed to, to love the story, to create stories, to find narratives, right? Where there maybe, there maybe is none, right? That's forming the idea of evil. That's a berserk reference. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And um, there's a focus on this theme, right? <clears throat> so yeah, when you, I think um, when you're creating your own work, right? Um, at first, right, it's very good to explore, right? Um, <clears throat> but as you, uh, you know, uh, as you want to become more professional, right? You become something that like you want a signature on your work. You have to figure out. Um, what exactly 
kind of work you want to make, right? And then you want to focus that and you want to expand on it, right? And that right now he's doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, right? But applying different environments, different bots, different things, right? Different people, different cars, right? Different um, types of environments, right? But the theming is all the same, right? The feeling is very similar, right? And so it's like you're 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 iterating on a single theme, right? And uh, or 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 a or a couple of themes, right? But they are they remain consistent, right? There's a focus, right? And when you build that focus up and you you keep working again and again and again, you push it again, you push it again, you push it again, right? That's how you create mastery, right? You know, like think about like the great ones, like you know, um, Norman Rockwell, uh, Line Decker, you know, uh, Hat and Sunbloom, right? Sergeant, they all had some form of focus, right? Especially the old illustrators at the time, right? They had a focus on theme, right? What what the message is, right? And when you focus um, and you keep doing the same thing again and again, right? You start creating variances, right? Which are little sparks of genius, right? Like this bot, like look how cool this bot is, right? You know? Uh, 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 the the theming, right? Like, uh, and the distance, right? It's just beautiful, man. Because it just like look at this. There's a sense of play, right? And that's what you want when you're when you're doing art, right? Um, for it not to feel labored, right? For you to explore, right? You're like, oh, okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do it, right? Um. Or sorry, I know exactly what I'm going to do, but I don't know how I'm going to do it, right? Thus creating, like, the rule sets for an area to play, right? So you know what your you know your canvas, right? You know, you know what the base is. You know, like, okay, well, I want this kind of theme, right? I know I want sci-fi, I want bots, right? And I want a landscape, right? So, like, you already have your set of rules, right? And when you have a set of rules, you have a game. And when you have a game, you have play. And when you play, you create miracles. You create genius, right? Because you're just playing, right? And you're having fun. And then this goes into the work, right? And when you're having fun with your artwork, um, it creates the best work, okay? Hands down, right? Um, there's the People can tell when you have a... When you have a certain like you know emotion towards a work, right? At least, at least that's how I feel, right? I feel like a lot of artists, other a lot of other artists feel the same way, right? We're we're trying to put these feelings into an image, something understandable, right? Something comprehensible, right? And I feel like for for Simon right here, like um, there's there's a look at that. So you notice how he has a gun, right? <laughs> he probably found that gun, right? He's like, oh, dude, like, like, look what I found, right? And then he's like trying to show this girl who's like, you know, like, oh, whatever, you know, that's not cool, right? And then he's like, whoa, 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 what if I shoot this giant bot, dude, right? Yeah, what about that? And she's like, oh, okay, I guess, right? I'm not impressed, right? You know, right? There's a, there's an innocence, to to these works right and this this innocence right <clears throat> may, may lead to, to worse things to come right or better things right but there there's a curiosity right in this work look at that and it's just well it's just well painted it's not labored right look at these look at these trees these are not labored right but it's just enough to to give you that image, right? Fantastic stuff. More ink works, right? Look at that. Something about ink work, man, just has this like rawness to it, you know? Like like oh, this is like the first time I'm thinking of this idea, you know? A painting, you know, 
the rawness of a painting feels different than a rawness of a drawing, right? Because the rawness of a painting is like, you know, it comes from like, you know, being wild, you know, being f like, you know, dancing, right? But from a from a drawing, it's usually like, oh, I had this idea and I really got to scribble it down, right? Look at that. Something familiar with something foreign, right? Just that shape makes like, whoa, what is that, you know? Right? A lot of people imitate him. Right, and I, I think that they're all, they all fail in comparison to him. Obviously, right? The the original is always the best, because they have been doing it the longest. Right? Yeah, I've taken a lot of inspiration from this guy. Right? Uh, a lot of people compared my work to his. Right? In terms of like uh, the way it's painted, the and the stylistic flair. Right? Um, I've ever I, I've since grown a lot as an artist, so it's it, my work is not similar anymore, right? But uh, yeah, like to be compared to him is is a <laughs> fucking honor, dude. You know, because I love his work. You know, I didn't know until someone like made the comment. And I was like, who's who's that? And I'm like, and then they showed me the work, and I just absolutely loved it. You know. Um, but look at that. You know. Oh, wow. Look at that texture, right? That's something that's kind of hard to get with a uh, digital, right? Because there's a... When you, when you paint digitally, it's it's too perfect, right? And that's the issue, right? But uh, clearly, Simon has found a way to circumvent this, right? Love this image, right? Look at that. So, it's like I said, dude, it's the same theme, right? But, like... Now we're in like kind of a desert environment, right? Look at that. Wow. I love how it's wow here because I feel like if you were here in real life, you'd be like, whoa, look at that. I'm gonna snap a pic of that, you know? We have the kid here, you know, he's in the thing. He's like, you know, just, just hanging out, looking around, right? Look at that. There's something familiar about it. Something so foreign, you know. Here we have a cop, right? Look at that. I guess he's checking out the echo chamber, right? Wow. Let's go to the wide. Yeah, look at that. So cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. <sighs> Something about it, man. Something about it. It's got that it's got that bit of magic, you know? And uh this this is magic that's just hard to obtain, you know, right? It takes years and years of practice. Years and years of thinking, right? But also, at the same time, usually when it happens, it's it's a uh, effortless, right? Because you've you've trained your brain enough, you've you've uh, you've fed the machine quite enough work, right? Quite enough ideas, right? To the point where it all melds and then becomes your idea, right? And then you practice that, you practice that, you get good, you get good, right? And then at a certain point, um, you just start playing, right? And you play and then you, you discover, you know, like, hey, wow, I really like to play in this particular way, you know? And then boom, you get style. You get your body of work. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> See, I I always think like, you know, ideas over skill, right? Because skill you could build. Ideas that's all you, baby. Ideas are infinite. You know what I mean? There's there's no limit. Right? Look at that. 
there's like this crazy bot, right? And you have all these cops right here, right? And I want you guys to look how like, whoa, whoa, you know, this movement is created, right? But it all leads to this motherfucker right here, this silhouette. Okay, let's do, that. Let's do a little, there you go. And what do you see him holding? A remote. He's controlling this bot, okay? He's taking cover at the center of the storm, right? So cool. So fucking cool. Right? Ideas, man. Composition. Design. When it all flows together, when you've learned it all, and you start to play, this is the result. Okay? Look at that. So cool. Some derelict, some kind of like, I guess, war bot or some shit, right? The, uh, Satuna Spiders. I don't know why I said it in, in, a, in an Italian accent. Fuck it, right? These 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 paintings give me a very like you know uh, like a Death Stranding vibe you know there's a very there's a serenity to it you know there's a um, self reflection you know it's like walking down it's like walking in the park on a you know on a on a gray overcast day with the fog in the air right you're just you're just thinking you're just thinking right. Letting your brain go, right? I'm just showing this part right here, this left side. Oh, yeah. This reminds me of uh, that red bot from, from My Life as a Teenage Robot. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Just one of those things, just like, you know. It's been used, but, you know, it, it's, it's still it's still going, you know. It's still being used right now to this day, but it's an old piece of tech, right? But this is all derelict now. It's all useless, right? Let's go to the wide. Yep. Look at that. And it, ha it has this feeling, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. <laughs> when you're when you're doing art, you're playing with the. You're just letting the engine go. Look at that. Wow, look at those shapes. Love it. There you go. It's like the thing's getting activated, you know, like, well, what's, what's back there, you know? Like, curiosity. Huh, what is that? What's, what's happening back there, you know? Right? <laughs> like a kid staring at the distance, right? A little bit too afraid to approach, right? But not, not too afraid to, to, uh, to take a look. Right? Like this kid right here. Damn, bro. This motherfucker, dude. He ain't fucking around, dude. He's like, come at me, bitch. Okay. Approach me. He's doing the fucking Dio walk right now, dude. With that spear, dude. That's that, that's that big dick energy right there, dude. Alright, there we go. We have some, like, robot buffalo thing, right? Boar. Right? We have a kid who's a little over on his head, right? But he's just, he's curious, you know? He's like, whoa, what is that, right? Are they going to attack me, right? I have my little snow sled, just in case, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
like I said, each one of these has like a little, little bit of narrative for the world, right? But uh, we're just here for the images, man. Look at that. And uh, like I said, there's there's an emphasis. There, there's a reason why I keep going to the wides, right? Because um, I feel like you really have to look at these from, you know, a certain level of distance, right? So you get the whole picture, yeah. You know? And notice how, like, you know, you want to look at it from outside, but you also want to zoom in, right? You want to be like, oh, wow, look at these little little details. Like that text, right? Makes it believable, right? You know, a little, little lights, right? You know, so cool. Right. I guess it's some kind of vehicle, right? Like crashed, right? And he's like, oh, I gotta get out of here. It's like a kind of like a one wheel, right? <laughs> really cool. Yeah, like a little brain jar, right? Yeah. And the text is all in English, right? I guess the, um, the artist is, uh, you know, enjoys English text, right? So that people can understand it or... I don't know. He clearly likes like, you know, 80s Americana, right? You can tell by his paintings, right? In like Nevada and shit. Look at this. Wow, this is so cool. Right? I think it's some kind of android, right? That's, uh, you know, been frozen. Not not frozen, but like, you know, has, has is gone and is now being like taken away by the the world, right? And that bird. So simple, so nice, right? Not over labored, right? Letting things kind of fade into the back, right? Wow. Yeah, even his, uh, his drawings have that similar vibe, you know, the that childlike exploration, you know, that curiosity, right? It's like, why is that there? You know, I like how this creates a focal point for the skull, right? There you go. Underneath the highway, there are these, uh, I guess, androids, right? Who've all, like, you know, been shut down or something, you know? I don't know. What's the story here, you know? Like, that's that, that's the thing, you know? Like, what's, what's the... We don't know the story, right? But we're curious nonetheless. We want to find out. We want to insert the story itself, right? that I was like what are they talking about you know why are they here probably to have a you know having a smoke right having a nice convo right could be very important could be not We're, uh, we're getting upon the end right now, right? Yep, here it is. Very, uh, very put sim very simply, right? Curiosity, right? Very beautiful theme for this book. Oh, English edition. I guess this is, uh, I guess he has different versions, right? And uh, here we have uh, an advertisement for the second book, right? Because I guess this was uh, this was in print when the second book was being released, right? Fantastic book. Look forward to that later. I also have a second book. Here we have the map again, you know. Here we have uh, Sweden. Yeah. So like this is like this is like the area that they're focusing on, and then 
boom, here it is in the big map, right? These, this little archipelago. Yep. There you have it, folks. There's the book. Let's go back to that wide. There you go. So, yeah, guys, that's the book, you know? Um, I think it's fantastic. I love uh, Simon Stallenhag's work, right? Uh, I think you guys should really check him out, right? I think you should buy this book, right? If you're curious on what the story is, I really recommend it. I really recommend this book. I really recommend all of Simon Stallenhag's work, right? There's a there's something to it, you know? There's a reason why he's getting successfully kickstarted because his artwork, you know, it's got that magic. It's got that little bit of magic, you know what I mean? That tickles you, you know, gets the little child in you going like, whoa, what is that? Like, whoa, that's so cool, you know, and, right? And anybody who, you know, gets that little bit of magic, right, is worth looking at, right? That's because that's what you want as an artist, right? And, like, this is his magic, right? So, um, uh, I recommend this book. You know, go get it. Uh, it's probably maybe 25 30 30 to 40 bucks, right? It retails at 40 right? I did not buy it for that much, right? I'm sure on, on Amazon it's going to be a lot cheaper. I'll put a link down below, right? And uh, I want you guys, you know, obviously to uh, comment, you know, talk about this work. How does it make you feel? Do you know Simon Stall and Hogg, right? Um, like, uh, do you, do, you, do you know his work? Do you, what do you guys think about it, right? Um, uh, I actually met Simon Stall and Hogg, right? We had a nice little conversation, you know, about like, you know, independent work versus, you know, work for a company, right? And um, yeah. Um, I loved his work before, and after reading him, uh, you know, I feel like his uh, his work is just that much more impactful, you know. So um, yeah, definitely check it out, right? Um, yeah, so buy this book, uh, comment, subscribe, like, give me that like, right? All that bullshit, right? And I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, see you.